Hi, I'm Paul Hoyer. Um, I'm the baker, and this is my fourth year in the theater program. I always have a song or two up my sleeve, so the auditions aren't that big of a deal. So I'm Brianna Heinrichs. I play the baker's wife, and this is my second year at Waconia Theater. Um, I practice a lot. Uh, I usually get help from my vocal um, teacher, just run everything as much as I can. I'm Johanna Makala. I am playing Cinderella in this show and I've been doing this since I was in seventh grade, so about six years. So for auditions, I use a technique that was taught to me by Liz Smith, our former director. Um, just kind of maybe sit on the ground, find some place that you are like touching something and just close your eyes and think through every sensation that you're having in your body and that kind of calms my mind, um, gets me ready to go. So I am Addie Ackerman, I am the witch and I have done theater in Waconia since sixth grade, so seven years. I tend to envision myself in the role that I'm auditioning for and just try to wholly imagine myself in that role so that I can be encompassing myself in what I'm auditioning for and have it be as realistic as possible. I'm Jack Anderson. Um, my role, I play Jack from Jack and the Beanstalk and I've been doing theater at Waconia. This is my second production, so two years. Um, I like to pick a song that me and my voice teacher usually go over just to show off my talent the best. Okay, and so that's why like the milking part comes really quickly, the sound like part with that. So do I not wait for the fair bit? So you, do, you are going to cross while they're still feeding the cow. Um, maybe you're concerned about milky third white. Third one, you think? I think, thir yeah, third or so. fourth is fine. But like maybe you're concerned about her like, oh, milky white, are you okay? You oh, Phyllis, I'll do it. She only milks for me. And then it's, uh, right, exactly. Um, well, we had already been thinking about this show, knowing like our acting pool and the students who we had um, involved. It's a musically challenging production, but also acting wise. And so we have this year um, some very talented students who are able to meet both ends of that. Um, it's also a story that both Daniel and I are very fond of, and we think that it has a good thematic message, which is always something that is important to me as a director. I want to make sure that it's a message we feel proud of putting out there. And Into the Woods has so many different themes that you can take out of it. Um, we teach it <laughs> in high school, and so I guess I know that. Um, and that's another aspect as well as it's an educational theater program so we we want to make sure that our shows are educational exactly yeah. all right let's take the Addy cup transformation bit cross cup transformation how far back is the cup? Uh, just like where are you going? yeah I think so <laughs> okay so Addy has the cup oh let's watch <gasps> Oh. First reaction, first shudder. Oh. Another shudder. Oh. And then a bigger shudder. Oh. Okay, so in order for that to get a big reaction, each one has to be bigger, right? Okay, yeah. So it can be a. Oh. 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 It's gonna be vocal, it's gonna be big. I think this show is tough because. It's a classic, so many people have seen it before. So trying to create the, hold it up to the expectation that people have for what Into the Woods should be, but at the same time create some elements of surprise at the same time. So as the artistic director, that's my job, is thinking through how can I marry those two things together, which I think we've done some cool things with in, in our version. We have some cool ways that we're creating surprises for our audience, who even if they've seen the show uh, several times or the Disney movie, they won't necessarily expect um, what we're throwing at them. This show would just not be possible without director Mrs. Byrne. I mean, she does such a phenomenal job in visiting the show and then just bringing it to life. She's, she's one of few people that I can see do it. Her and our former director Liz Smith are just so, so good at directing these shows, because I mean, Into the Woods is not an easy show to portray on a stage, especially in high school theater. And she managed to do it perfectly. 
This show would have been extremely difficult without Miss Byrne. She kind of put everything together. It's already a hard enough show as it is, um, with you know just the music having to be on time and not having a band. So I think it's uh, honestly incredible what she did. It's definitely the most important role I've been. I feel like I'm always like supporting the main, but this time I kind of am, so. It's definitely a lot different. Well, it's similar and different from the role I had last year. So she kind of has the same angst, so I kind of am taking some of the stuff that I had from last year. But she also has like a different side of her that I'm just kind of exploring as we go on. What I really like about being able to play this antagonist, like antagonistic person is that I'm using an entirely different personality than the one I normally use. And it's a personality that I'm able to use, it just doesn't show itself very often because I tend to think of myself as somebody who is kind to everybody and so having the more angry and all of that come out it's it's a very special character to play I think in that way and I I guess it's kind of a struggle that I have too being able to play that and also you know keep my actual personality intact wow I wish I could say I had a really good way of doing it but honestly I just I try not to overload myself too much and but then I usually end up overloading myself at the end a week before we go off book. I'm Hannah Jansen, I'm the choreographer and this is I believe my sixth year choreographing for Waconia. Well I usually just listen a bunch and close my eyes and see what comes to me. I mean I, I kind of just try things out while I'm listening to it. Sometimes if I know like with Into the Woods I was not so much this but like with Fiddler on the Roof like that was more of like historical like dances and so some of that I did like look up like okay what are like classic Jewish classic Russian dances and kind of got some inspiration that way um, so otherwise and like same with the, the wolf song for Into the Woods like that's got like Fred Astaire it said so I looked up some old videos of like cane dancing and stuff and um, so sometimes I'll look up you know videos to inspire me a little bit but generally I just kind of close my eyes and see what comes. Hannah has been the choreographer for well, as long as I've been in theater, she's she's choreographed all my shows, and she's just good at it. You know, I always look forward to choreography rehearsals. One, it's a workout, believe it or not, and you don't you don't hear that often when it comes to like theater and stuff. And normally, like it never comes to people's mind, but I mean, we do actually do work <laughs> when we do choreography. But she's so good at coming up with different unique types of moves that we can do, and. Like this show specifically, I mean, it's not as choreographed, like it's, it's not dance heavy. It's not a dance heavy show, but st she still finds a way in every single group number to just be perfect. Has anybody noticed that in this show, there's a lot of times where you have no time to breathe, but you really need to breathe? Yes. Yeah, yeah there's a lot of that. <laughs> right? And here is, here is the key, is being able to take a short, little breath that is in rhythm. So even though here we're doing he, 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 I want you to sort of micro count a breath. He, 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 so we have a da, 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 he, 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 ha, like so. So this is a way for us to practice those short little breaths, right? So you're not gonna get a full breath. And it might feel like a little bit of a shallow breath, but that's okay. Getting a little bit of breath is better than getting no breath at all, right? He, 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 ha. One, two, three. My, my beautiful boy, Daniel Grecker as well, man. He, bro, he, he look, man, he loved every single vocal rehearsal. I loved, like, I loved working with him. He was really awesome. Like he was constantly trying to make us like better and kind of improve every little nuance we had. And even like at the end of the day, both like Miss Burr and Daniel gave out great notes. And yeah, and together they directed and crafted an incredible show. Daniel Greco is the greatest music guy in the world. <laughs> uh, Daniel really put the show together and kept us on track. 
especially with how hard this show is and he really made sure that we knew what we were doing and that we were competent enough to like actually perform it and get it right. My name is Sarah Helverson. I am one of the two stage managers. We usually make the props list. We make sure everybody's there and if they aren't, we'll call them. Um, we'll make the rehearsal reports. We'll write down the blocking in the scripts. Everyone on the crew is just so amazing. From our backstage crew, uh, they, they, you know, this show doesn't run smoothly without them. And they have to be just as perfectly timed as us as actors, because they have to know when to come on stage and put, put things where they need to be or take off stage. And uh, they also have to look out for, and they help us with what we call jelly donuts, which is uh, things that are left on stage that aren't meant to be. And they really, they, they find them and they can help us. They take those off so they don't interrupt with the scene. And they hold the show together. Um, our two stage managers, Sarah and Emily, and gosh, are they amazing, you know? They keep track of all the props uh, and they make sure everybody's here. And they hold the show, like they're the backbone of the show almost. Like we don't have a show without our crew. Uh, my name is Georgia, and I do costume crew for the show, and this is my second year. The, it's just been hard to get all the different eras to like combine together, so we've kind of gone with like a medieval base for most of it, but I don't know, it's been fun. It's a good challenge. And uh, I have to give a shout out to our costume, costume people, uh, Georgia and McKenna. Uh, they like, they kind of pulled through. I feel like that's such a very like underrated like position and crew where it's like you don't really think about but like they have to like maintain and overview like every person like everybody's single like costume and stuff like that and overall it's like it pretty seems like a pretty challenging job and overall they were pretty they were really nice and they're just like pretty great to have in the back so yeah So it's uh, definitely very stressful thinking about having to potentially be, you know, performing in a boot and is that going to mess with the, the whole vision in general, you know, of the show, but kind of just uh, having to assure myself that, you know, whatever happens, happens, it's theater, you kind of just got to go with the flow. Uh, so Jackson. What are you most excited for, for opening night? For opening night, I am most excited to just be back in like a normal theater sense. Like, it's been so long since we've been able to do a show without masks in front of a real audience. So I'm just really excited to perform for people again. Uh, I'm ready to perform an absolute banger show. Uh, we've been working pretty hard in this, so we're gonna have a good time with it. Uh, definitely the live audience. That, yeah, and seeing like everyone there. Um, having the audience actually respond to you on stage. Um, seeing all my friends come and see the production. I like the smells on opening night. Like you can smell the energy radiating. Um, I think I'm most excited for people to actually see all the work that we put in in the last month and a half. This show is extremely difficult, um, and I think we've done a pretty darn good job of working through it. I agree, probably letting like a whole bunch more people than just uh, half an audience because of COVID and getting to yeah. share our experience. Um, I am probably most excited to perform in front of an actual audience that's bigger than like 20 people. Um, I'm most excited to see like what goes wrong. To show everyone what we've been working so hard on. Everybody stand up. Here we go. Wow. 
Thank you. 